Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we saw the member part. In this class, I am going to teach the lend book part. So, what I am going to do is here, I am going to create the go to the project at Windows form. Uh, here, this one should be the lend book. Click add button. Right. Created successfully. Now, let's increase the uh, form size a little bit like this. Now here first what I am going to do is here simply we have to create the form right so let's go to the toolbox and uh, get one the group box here drag here right now here let's select this one right click properties we have to change this one as a select this one uh, font size we have to change it as bold with 12 right here name group box name I am going to change it as a issue book present a key now what I'm going to see I'm going to drag the labels uh, I need to drag five labels right, five labels right so you have to drag five labels here right now here what I'm going to do is here first select this uh, label one properties you have to change this one as a uh, member id member id second one should be member name member name third one should be uh, book fourth one should be date this is a issue date issue date this is a book issue date this is a return date you have select the return date also here right now what i am going to do is here first i am going to drag one text box right text box right this is a uh, member ID. If you select the member ID, relevant book name should be displayed here. Me relevant member should be displayed here. Select the book here. So we have to drag one combo box here. Right? So load the stuff. Right. After that, we have to drag the issue date. Issue date we have to drag to a date picker. Right? This one. A date picker. I have to drag to date picker. Here also we need one another text box. Uh, we need another text text field. So same text box text field. Control C copy control V to paste. Okay, get second one. Right. So sorry. now what I'm going to do is we need a save button. So go to the toolbox. The save button. Same button control C copy control V to paste. Get another copy. This one should be save. This one should be the cancel button. perfect we perfectly done the stuff right now what I'm going to do is here uh, first when when the user enter the member ID relevant member name should be display here uh, book also we book, book we have to select the book here right so first we have to uh, give the database connection on this form so let's right click view code okay, add the name face here using system using Sorry, using system dot data dot SQL client right here we have to add the connection right so let's go to the member right with the same connection control C to copy back to land here paste it here after that what I'm going to do is here uh, we have to uh, add the go to the book book table right here view uh, book table I'm going to create this one this book table the same loading right this is the combo box loading so let's copy this one let's back here go and paste it here this one should be i'm going to name it as book right say how to load the combo box right uh, i already be done in the book uh, book part right here we have loaded category as well as author and publisher the same thing i'm going to copy and paste it in the lend also okay here we have to change the uh, 
here book this one should be the book so here we have to change here as which table you are going to load the load the things book table uh, after that uh, here we have to write which table you are going to pass the data this one should be the book table right book so txt book this one should be we have to na name the txt book right this one txt txt mid mean member id txt m name mean member name this is a txt book txt this one should be the txt uh, issue date so i date i date this is txt r date txt r date right perfect now what i'm going to do is here txt book txt book right so the same thing control sheet copy control read paste here, paste here, right so this one should be the a book first we have to load the book name so b name we have to load the b name here right boy name me the book name should be loaded right so this book name control sheet copy this uh, control sheet copy paste it here right perfect now let's go to the main double click on this one here we have to write lend book l e n d lend create the object l e n d new lend book so right lend lend dot show right let's run the program and check right lend book select this one it's goes right okay what i'm going to see here when the form is started select this one start position need to be set as center screen same thing here we forgot to do the member part as well uh, member right go to the member member also we have to do the same stuff in the member form as well select this one start position uh, here to where's the start position start position set it as a center screen right now let's check member start right they also we didn't uh, write the code for the cancel button as well in the member so try this dot cross now let's run the check project lend book right here we have enter the book id we enter the member id relevant member details should be displayed here member name should be displayed here the book is loaded successfully here. book is loaded successfully now what i'm going to do is here the same book uh, right here we have what i'm going to do is here we have to write here uh your right select right go here we have to write here uh, member id so select this member id text box right click uh, sorry select this one go to the event we have to change the event as here we have to keep press event keep press event there is a keep press so keep press double click on this keep press right here we have to write the code for that okay so you have to write here if keep press mean i am going to get this uh, enter key so e dot e mean this c as object uh, key char equal equal 13 mean is a it is a number of enter key on your keyboard right here we have to write the code for that cmd cmd we have to create the cmd above right cmd command sql command right uh, used to write the sql query right uh, so you have to write new sql command you have to write here simply select all from member where id equal you have to write uh, id equal you have to write single quotation double you have to write otherwise you have to write simply you have to write like this question mark right you have to write you have to write a question mark like this right you have to write here otherwise you have to write uh, you have to write here the question mark otherwise simply we no need this one question mark we simply this is the only things we have needed only the instead of using the prepare sign you write simply in single quotation double quotation single quotation double quotation double quotation single quotation two plus sign right very simple here txt this one should be the mid 
dot text right okay if you want to write the pro uh, prepare statement you will be able to write here you have to put the question mark and you have to write the text box below right so you have to write like this it's simple all right after the open the connection con dot open right here you have to write dr dr mean the sql data reader equals cmd dot execute reader execute reader here we have to write uh, if dr dot read you have to write here is uh, txt uh, uh, m name member name dot text equal you have to write dr you have to pass the relevant name so class uh, name is member member name member name this one should be name field dot to string you have to write the store string method here that is the thing first you have to write okay after that you have to write here else you have to write here else part you have to write uh, if the uh, member is not found out you have to write message box dot show you have to write the message as member not found Now let's run member. Sorry, this one lint book press uh, one member ID press enter key. Uh, what is the problem? So uh, the connection property. Ah, uh, the connection property not initialized. The problem is if I get the error, your connection is not there. This SQL connection is not there, right? So here we have to write the connection here, right? You have to write uh, comma. You have to write con. You have to write the connection property. This connection object you have to write here. This connection object you have to write here. Right? That's the only thing you have to write. Now let's run and check. Len book. Enter key member ID press enter key. Raja is the member name. Right. Successfully displayed. Perfect. Right? Now here there will be the book, right? Uh, Java code. You have to get the Java code. And here we have to uh, get the date, right? We have your issue date is uh, today date. Uh, 19 the return date is within one week time and click save button record should save in the database right now let's check out today uh, how to do the task right now let's uh, go here right, right here. double click on this save button here we have to write the code for that right first we have to write we have to assign to the variable the relevant text box right so this one should be there uh, so we ask uh, link book right this one should be member id txt id member name book right txt m id txt m name right you have to write like this okay so string uh, first one should be the member id m id equal txt m id dot text out of string m name member name equal txt m name dot text after that uh, string uh, member name after that you have to write uh, another stuff is a book txt book the string book equal txt book dot text after that string date uh, issue date date equal txt uh, issue date i date right i date uh, we have right uh, txt date i date dot you have right value you have right value you have right value dot to string you have to save to string you have to save the format look like this you have to save the format look like this you have right uh, this is the year month format date format you have to save the save on the uh, data look like this right so the same thing control city copy control this is the return date right return date. issue date return date right so return date return date right here also the same thing right this now what i'm going to do is here you have to write the sql query for that sql query so you have to create the variable above sql 
ah here is variable created right now here equal insert into which table you are going to uh, you have to uh, insert the record length table so i didn't create the table yet so let's go to the database table this is table should be i'm going to create a length table so id this is a length id this one should be a in data an integer data type with primary key here we have to set the auto incremented part second one should be the member name var vachar third one should be the book this one should be the vachar this one should be the date book you have to set this as int right so book should int so like into you have to set as uh, book you have set as a watch no problem right this one should be the date issue date issue date issue date so set as this one's a date after that return date date right let's save them this this table i'm going to uh, change name as issue issue book issue book issue book. right that's it that's the thing you have to do right now let's go to here you have to write insert into insert it to which table you are going to uh, save the record issue book table so issue book issue book table issue book table uh, you have to write the specify the column name properly here let's back to the database table here uh, this one should be the uh, length book so let, let's here to refresh the table less length the issue book right right click okay this, this is the table right so here first part of the time the first one should be the id is auto increment we don't need a second one should be the member name we're starting from member name member name comma member name comma you have to write book comma issue date issue date comma return date return date you have to write like this okay now after that we have values Our values you have the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here you have to here we have to write and sign right right now here I, what i'm going to write is here con dot open you have to write here uh, cmd equal new sql command so write here sql comma con connection right now here we have to write uh, cmd dot parameters dot add value with here we have to write this one should be the member name control c to copy control v to paste here comma you have to write here this member name control c to copy uh, uh, sorry this uh, sorry not member name uh, sorry uh, this is the member id right right you have to write the uh, member id on here this one should be the instead of the member name here we have to write member id so for right member id we have to write okay so you have to go to the issue book table design instead of the member name you have to write member id right member id is a must right member ID. you have to select this this one should be a int member id okay name is not no needed member id right member id you have to write the member id here uh, this member id this member id the member id right member id this one, the m id control c to copy sorry here member id same thing control c to copy control v to paste here here also paste here here also we have to change the thing is uh, we have to change the stuff uh, here as this one member id this one control c to copy control v to paste here right first one second one should the book same thing control c to copy control v to paste here book control c to copy control v to paste here our issue date control c to copy control v to paste here return date control c to copy control v to paste here right this one we don't need that we have to remove it our book this one book control c to copy control v to paste here issue date control c to copy control v to paste here return date control c to copy control v to paste here right now here was first what i'm going to do is here we have to write 
cmd dot execute 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 non query execute 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 non query dot write like this right Perfect. now here we are right uh, message box you are right message box to church show book issued book issued book issued right okay con dot close finally you have to write the message Ma at con dot close right that's the thing we have to write now let's check this book i am going to this one 14 return date 26 click save button the connection was not closed the connection is currently open why was the problem i hear the connection is not closed that's the problem really oh here this one right the key press event we have to open the connection we didn't close that's why it's show there right when you open the connection you must close the connection right Lend book id one write book start date set end date right see what member id what's the problem right here the member id is around right here the member id is extra is coming here that's a problem now here uh, another stuff is we go to the lend table we check everything perfect here we have to set this one properties we have the size i am going to uh, property we have to go to the property we have to get the size so make it as we have to make this one as a uh, not bold we have to create this one as a uh, you have to 10 keep the size 10 bit regular right should be fine if it is increase the size we won't show the date properly right so we have to we have to properly we have to reduce the size of that please feel keep 10 or 9 it's okay sorry let's click on this one sorry so this one the where's the font this is not a font property and this is the font property Keep it up nine then okay that, then it is visible right now it's show right now here what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change now no. now let's run the program and check right now let's go here uh now i'm going to go to the lane book enter the member id present a key relevant member name should be displayed here select the book and issue date this one uh, return date 26 right here is a date right return date right you will be able to see the dates right now let's click save button book issued now go to the database now go to the issue books table right click show table here uh, this is the why why, why is saving the same thing i have a problem here is saving and the problem is here here txt i date txt i date have put it two times that's why the same date the same value are storing and this one should be the txt r date right txt this one should be the txt r date right txt r date that's the problem right that's why it's coming problem now let's check again return sorry here lane book member id 1 1926 right now let's now now let's this one we have to uh, this issue books this one i'm going to remove the edit we have to we have to remove sorry issue books set all right okay. now let's now let's save the things right click save quick issue now let's go and check, check here now it's written it's a starting date it's returning date right starting date is written now it's successfully displayed right it's successfully displayed here okay now it displays successfully now it's no problem right it's displayed successfully right perfect right uh, other stuff 
uh, we have to load the data from the database you have to load into the you just put it put the data grid, grid view and you have to load the data to the table right uh, issue book table right here okay uh, i already discussed about how to uh, drag the data grid view how to load them in my previous lesson here this look like this right this all the stuff you have to do yourself right how to issue the books you can check here right what are the books you have issued all the stuff you have to uh, check from the data grid view report right uh, thank you for watching in my next tutorial i'll be discuss about the return book part thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me